In the hills of west central Saskatchewan, on the reserve that bears the name of a revered and wrongly convicted First Nations leader, the Prime Minister arrived to set right a historic wrong and recognize a true legacy, something the descendants of Cree chief poundmaker have long worked for. <laughs> 
A symbolic climb up a steep hill, the same path government forces took 134 years ago to ambush Chief Poundmaker and his people. Today, the Prime Minister came in peace, armed with an apology and this. I am here today on behalf of the Government of Canada to confirm without reservation that Chief Poundmaker is fully exonerated of any crime or wrongdoing. Redemption at last, celebrated in a ceremony punctuated with poignant, symbolic moments, like this handshake with the current chief. Long ago, a Canadian general refused to shake hands with Poundmaker. What happened today here we will never forget. In 1885, Canada was in the midst of its first and only civil war, the Northwest Rebellion, led by Louis Riel and his Métis supporters. But Chief Poundmaker, like most First Nations leaders, tried to stay out of it. After a military ambush at this site, Chief Poundmaker stopped his warriors from chasing after the retreating Canadian soldiers, likely stopping a massacre. But he wasn't celebrated as a hero. He was convicted of treason felony. It was a real smear job. Blair Stonechild co-authored a book that revealed the Canadian government had an ulterior motive to prosecute First Nations chiefs. The government's agenda essentially was to gain control over, over Indigenous people. Well, it had nothing to do with justice. Poundmaker's incarceration and death soon after was followed by decades of government oppression and a legacy of distrust between non-Indigenous and Indigenous people. With hope for a new era, Trudeau laid tobacco on Poundmaker's grave as a sign of respect. You know, when people heal and, and forgive, it's after an apology. This day was also about telling the truth. Truth, elders say, must come before reconciliation. Many embraced both here today. One is Oh, yeah.